It's a new year, so here's a new tag. Hey folks, my name is Jen, and today I figured I could do the um, New Year's book tag. I believe that this was originally created by Heather at Bookables, so let's do it. So question one is, how many books are you going to read in 2021? So for this question, I'm not really entirely sure what I'm going to read this year. My Goodreads goal I put at 52 um, because I usually surpass it um, if I put it that low and then I don't feel as much pressure, like if I put it at 100. <laughs> so um, yeah, currently I'm looking to read 52 books this year, but as you probably saw from my 2021 TBR video, I have over a hundred books that I would like to potentially read um, this year or at least get a sizable chunk of the way through that collection. So yeah, it's a, it's a lot of books. Um, question two is name five books you didn't get to this year. Want to make a priority. First up on my list is Finishing Reading When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. Um, I really wanted to finish it in December but just did not um, get around to it so that's first up my number one goal. Um, my next goal is to read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I'm very excited to be reading that. Something that I really wanted to read last year was I wanted to do a reread of the entire Anne of Green Gables series um, some point during like the spring and summer and I did not end up getting around to that because I was so busy um, reading other books and also trying to expand my horizons as far as including uh, much more diversity in my reading so I did not end up getting around to that. So that is something that I would like to do this spring and summer is I would like to reread that entire series. It's like seven or eight books. I um, actually have them right here. I moved them down when I reorganized so I had easier access to them. Um, so yeah, that entire series. I guess we'll count that as one book. Um, I also really want to read um, the sweetness at the bottom of the pie. Um, I've been putting it on monthly TBRs and then not getting around to it at the same time. Um, so I really want to get to that. And I also really want to get to The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. This has been like a long time coming with this book and I keep trying to and attempting to read this and just not doing it. But I finally ordered a complete unabridged version um, last year. And I have it in my possession and I definitely plan on picking it up. I'm not sure what time of year I'm going to be reading it at, but I am most definitely reading it at some point this year. This is the year. <laughs> Question three is, what genre do you want to read more of? Um, so last year I really wanted to read more of nonfiction and I actually did. I read uh, I think I went from reading like three nonfiction books in 2019 to reading something like 10 or 11 nonfiction books um, in 2020, which I mean, I guess isn't that great of a difference, but it's definitely different for me. So I think I would like to continue to read more nonfiction. Um, and. I really want to uh, dive more into like contemporary and general fiction, I guess. We're more focused on very specific um, topics, like more diverse fiction. So I have a few uh, books that I acquired last year um, that I plan on reading this year, which is part of that, and I would like to um, expand that more. Uh, when I let myself buy more books again later this year. <laughs> Question four. Name three non-book related goals for 2021. So, um, three goals. 
I already wrote like a whole bunch of my resolutions down. Um, let me try to remember them off the top of my head. Okay, so my first goal is to be more mindful of both of um, the food that I eat and also um, moving in general. Um, this year kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. Um, last year I was trying to be a little more active and whatnot and then this year happened and um, ending up being cooped up in the house didn't really help with that so uh, I mean I've already started working on that. I ordered a treadmill so I don't have like any excuses if the weather sucks near me and I can't go for a walk or if it's not safe to like go to the park or something. So um, yeah I'm starting more on that and so that's one goal. Another goal is I really need to really 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 work more on my writing. I have a book that I need to finish to get into like a place where I can potentially publish it. <laughs> um, and I have my other writing project that I really need to spend more time on. Um, and then my third goal is just um, being more calmer and kinder uh, this year. Things that happened last year really got me riled up and I didn't always watch my word choices with certain uh, people I know <laughs> on Facebook, so I'd like to work on anger management perhaps this year and anxiety management and choosing words better. Yeah, I guess that's a goal. Question five is, what's the book you've had forever that you still need to read? Um, I've said this and that is Count of Monte Cristo, um, but also I have also owned Don Quixote for a long time. Like I've had that book since I was like 11 or 12 and I still have not read it and yeah, I really need to read that. Question six is, one word that you are hoping 2021 will be? better. Yeah, I'm just hoping it's a hell of a lot better. <laughs> and that's it for this tag. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I got some plans for some fun stuff coming up in the next couple of months, hopefully. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Bye.